And yeah. to uh, sure. the uh, a loser, Marine Le Pen, who is about set to make her a concession speech. And uh, you can hear the applause from her supporters. This is in the west of Paris as she gets ready to address her supporters. Mesdames et messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, un grand vent de liberté aurait pu se lever sur le pays. We could have seen a great wind of freedom sweeping across this country, but the people of France decided it to be otherwise. We have seen unfair, violent practices, the sorts of practices that the French citizens are subjected to day in, day out. We've seen those. We've seen that throughout France. And when we look at the results of tonight's election, we can see that we have nevertheless been victorious. Millions of our fellow citizens chose to vote for our party. I would like to show my deepest recognition to all of those people. Those are people who voted for us in the first round and the millions who voted for us in the second. My deep gratitude goes to all of those men, women, from the rural regions, from the overseas territories as well. Those people who voted for me so overwhelmingly for this second round. I would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart for that show of support. Because that is the side of France that is so far too often forgotten, but we will never forget it. We will continue to defend the citizens of France now more than ever before. And I have no feeling of, of shame or regret because I would like to say to all those who wanted to see our party disappear, I would just like to say that I see a new form of hope, because the results that we have, it shows that in France and in Europe, that, that the leaders in France and Europe are going to have to face a sense of great mistrust from the people. There are great winds of change afoot. What we show is that we can stand up as a power to counterbalance that shown by Emmanuel Macron and his party. We will be there to protect men and women in France, to ensure that they have purchasing power, to ensure that we have strong social security systems, strong public institutions. We will be able to stand up against the retirement reform that Ma Macron wants to bring in. Tonight, what I fear is that the coming five years will be one with the same sort of disregard that we have seen over the past five years. That Macron will further create division within our country as opposed to closing down those gaps. Because instead of having the power in the hands of few, I will fight to bring power to the hands of the French people. I will do so with steadfast determination that you have seen me put into motion these past few years. Following this campaign, following this camp, we see that the great political stage that we have been operating on is undergoing great change. With the self-proclaimed elite of Macron's political parties, they are now going to have to face up against true opposition, because in a few weeks' time, we will face the legislative elections, and we will be there. Again, with the legislative process, the legislative election process, we only know that the powers are going to be are going to maintain that power. So what we want is we, we want to find change to the system because all we can see in Macron's campaign is that he will destroy France, he will break down France, he will break down its institutions. So these are people, there are people who voted Macron in a second time. And yet, 
We, we are a party that will take your interests at heart and we will defend your interests. So therefore, we will see you for the next battle, the next electoral battle for the ele legislative elections. And this is a battle that I will fight with Jordan Bardella, all those who were so brave enough to stand up against Macron in the second round, with all those men and women who believe in our nation. We will strive to unite all those people from whatever their background, those people who wish to rally together to stand up against Macron, those people who wish to have candidates in their local communities, be they in France, be they across over the seas, you know, overseas territories, wherever they may be. We will be there. And I call on you all to vote for them, vote for the national rally. Because remember, when we look at the polls, when we look at the at the figures, nothing is written in stone. We can change the future because our party is ready and we are going to win numerous seats in the parliament. And we will serve you because we serve a great ambition, the only true ambition. That is that France is our true ambition. So tonight, I will say it once again, I will never leave the French people to the wayside. Long live the French Republic, long live France.